Welcome back to the Wandering Wind Church. I am Gregory, and today we are reading out of the Life Recovery Devotional, Step 1, Day 11, titled, A Time to Choose. Our Bible reading for today is Acts 9, 1 through 9. We admitted that we were powerless over our dependencies and that our lives had become unmanageable. There are important moments in life that can bring about changes in our very destiny. These are often times when we are confronted with how powerless we really are over our own lives. These moments can either destroy us or forever set the course of our lives in a much better direction. Saul had such a moment. After Jesus' ascension, Saul took it upon himself to rid the world of Christians. As he took off on his quest, a light from heaven suddenly shone down around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Now, get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. When he opened his eyes, he was blind. So his companions led him by the hand to Damascus. He remained there blind for three days and did not eat or drink. Paul, as he was called later, was suddenly confronted with the fact that his life wasn't as perfect as he thought. Self-righteousness had been his trademark. By letting go of his illusions of power, however, he soon became one of the most powerful men ever, the Apostle Paul. When we are confronted with the fact that our lives aren't in our control, we have a choice. We can continue in denial and self-righteousness, or we can face the fact that we have been blind to some important issues. If we become willing to be led into recovery and a new way of life, we will find true power. Moments of crisis present us with opportunities for great change. You know, one of the things I haven't um, completely told you is that one of the reasons why I started going to recovery meetings 10 months ago and actually started getting the help I needed was because of a moment of crisis. You see, I had struggled for years with addiction to lusts of the flesh and also just alcohol in general and I was tired so tired and so about 11 and a half months ago about a month and a half before I finally broke down and went to my first meeting and actually started getting help I went to bed one night and overdosed on my sleeping pills by about four or five times the normal amount that I should have taken I had no illusions that I would wake up. But somehow in that moment, God saw something in me that I did not see in myself yet and said, no, we're not doing this. You're not leaving yet. You got work to do. And instead of letting me die, he carried me through. And then the next morning, my friend actually reached out to me and said, I feel like something's not right what's going on and I didn't tell him I just I lied like I always did I'm not feeling bad I'm all right everything's okay and uh but I talked to my pastor and I told him I can't do this anymore I need help and I started the process of getting away from from pornography and getting away from alcohol and getting into recovery and finally surrendering my life over to the care of God as I as I worked through the steps of life and just continued on and so moments of crisis present us with opportunities for great change is a perfect takeaway from this this reading because honestly in a crisis we really di discover who we truly are and who we truly need to be in Christ not because of our sake, but because of his name's sake. Because if we end up um, continually just slaves to our sin, 
we never recover. But if we turn our lives over to Christ, everything recovers. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching, listening, sharing, subscribing, being a part of this ministry, and even supporting the ministry in whatever way you can, whether it's a subscription on YouTube, sharing on Facebook, or even supporting my ministry through monetary donation. Thank you so much. As always, I want to remind you, we do not recover in leaps and bounds, but by every step forward we take. Sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, but always progress, never seeking perfection. Because we will never be perfect this side of glory. But in all things, I want you to know I am praying for you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for being here. You have won today because you're one day closer to recovery. Thank you and have a wonderful week. God bless you, and I'll see you again soon.